Alright, welcome back. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to cover how to keep track of which achievements are locked or unlocked and uh, how to make sure that gets saved between uh, gameplay sessions. So, for starters, I'm going to uh, create a couple of new buttons. One of these buttons is going to be a button that's going to be responsible for unlocking an achievement. And I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that, and then another button is going to be for locking all of the achievements. So this one is going to be lock achievement, and then this one is going to be um, lock all achievements. Now, I'm going to rename this as well to unlock achievement button, and then lock all achievements button. Alright, good enough. Next thing, I'm going to go back to our achievement manager and start working on this lock and unlock feature. So for starters, I'm going to create a public void lock or unlock achievement fu function. And it's going to take in an achievement type or the enum type achievement and basically all it's going to do is it's going to check if the achievement is uh, locked then we don't do anything if it isn't locked then we unlock it so how are we going to do this so remember achievement is basically an integer so what we can do is we can pull out our achievement item controller from our achievement item list achievements achievement items list and again we can index into it using this uh, enum because if you remember when we first created it the order of these will match to the order of the achievements in the list we could also create a dictionary and go about it that way but I think this is a bit more efficient. So we can pull out that controller and then we can check if the controller dot is so if it's unlocked we don't really do anything we just return and stop the execution of this function. However if we get to this point means the the item is still locked actually it might help if I rename this to item um, be easier to read. If it is locked, what we want to do is we want to set item dot unlock state to true, and then we want to call item dot refresh view. Now, in order for us to be able to persist this in between games, so if somebody runs the app and then they close out of it, we got to save it somewhere. And for this, I'm going to use player prefs. What I can actually do is I can call set int, and then pass in the item get the achievement out of the item and then the ID as the key value for the set int and then I can pass in a value of one that would mean that it's been set to the unlock state and then again we can set the unlock state to true and hit refresh view now uh, I'm also going to create a over another function that's just going to be named the same achievement but it's not going to Taking any parameters, and all it's going to do is call the unlock achievement with the achievement to show that we get from our little enum up here. Um, and one more thing, we also might want to show the notification. So I can call the show notification method, and that will also show the notification for us. Now, to wire this up and to test it, uh, we can go back into here, click on our unlock achievement button, and then come over here, hit on click, and drag in our manager, and set the, or call the unlock achievement. So now if we go into the game, if I didn't forget to wire anything up again, hit unlock, you'll see that the achievement got unlocked, notification got sent. 
but if we hit unlock again it won't do anything now the problem is if we play and then play again you'll notice that the achievement appears as if it's locked even though we know we saved it in player prefs as unlocked well that's the reason for that is whenever the achievements get loaded up we're never checking and setting the unlock state so in our load achievements table function I want to come over here and check create a new boolean called unlocked and I'm gonna set it equal to player prefs dot get int and we're gonna pass in the key and the key again would be the achievement ID and the default value we're gonna set it to zero and then we're gonna compare it to one so if whatever this function returns equals to one we're gonna set it unlocked if it returns zero we're gonna set it to locked and the next thing is we're gonna set controller dot unlocked equals to this unlock boolean that we just defined now if we go back to unity and I hit play you'll notice the achievement will turn gold because it's unlocked or if I do the same thing as before where I can call this function directly you see that it gets uh, unlocked now the last part is I want to be able to lock all the achievements so for example if I come through here I say I want to unlock uh, ooh that's a good point I forgot to make it to where the drop down updates automatically so I'm going to go into the drop down controller and simply in start I'm going to add the update options function and that way when I hit play the options will automatically update to the correct ones and I can hit click unlock unlock but now I want to clear this and lock them all back and the way we're gonna do that is again go back to our achievement manager and create a new function called lock all achievements and an easy way to do this is it can go to player prefs and then delete all however if you're storing other things in player prefs that's uh, not a very good way of doing it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for each achievement achievement in our database that achievements list and I'm gonna call player prefs that delete key and pass in the achievement ID and they will go through and delete all of those keys and then what I also want to do is uh, update the go through each of our achievement items achievements or I'm sorry achievement item controller in our achievement items and want to set their unlock state to false and then update their view alright and then the final step we can just wire up that button if we click on lock all achievements on click manager and then achievement manager lock all achievements and there we go we have a completed unlock an achievement and if I click it again nothing will happen and I can still show the notification if I want to by just switching to these and if we want to add a new achievement just come in here add a new one uh, final one the achieve ever and then encryption should go here and we can also just copy some of this so we can fill this out a little bit better and uh, the other thing is I can actually move this all the way to the top hit generate enum um, there's an error because there's a space in our ID so I'm going to regenerate that enum and hit play and we've got a working system we've got several of the achievements the final one is again at the very top if I attempt to zoom in I don't know what's wrong with the resolution here I can hit unlock um, 
you don't see a notification because it's off the screen. There we go. Now you can lock all of them back up. Right now you might be wondering, well, how do I trigger the unlock of achievement in code? Well, it's pretty simple. So, for example, let's create a simple test script. And uh, you can come over here and uh, drop it on this manager scripts. And basically, all, all I need is access to the achievement manager. And with that, we can come in here in the update loop and you can scan for some sort of event or you can have a function that subscribes to an event, um, whatever you want. All you, and then to unlock an achievement, all you got to do is call achievement manager dot unlock achievement and then you pass in the achievements dot whichever achievement you want to unlock. So the new one, hello world, goodbye etc. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial series. I'll probably make uh, an extension to where you can add uh, achievements that get incremented over time. But uh, other than that, I hope you enjoyed and have a good one.